Notice they will applaud absolutely any lunatic that comes up. Is there a timer? Yes, there is. Sorry, Where? it's three minutes. Where? Oh, I thought there was a digital watch you were going to put up here. I thought at the last meeting you guys said you were going to put up a digital watch for us to see three minutes. Okay. It's, um, it's ordered. I, I, I've got a lot to say. Let's see if I can get in three minutes now. First of all, Congratulations to Chris Gomez and the other appointees that were appointed tonight. Um, uh, I, Mr. Mello, you, you need to address us. I know, but I still have to show my appreciation because essentially he's not going to end up working with you guys. He's going to either end up working with Frank Catalina or myself because my name is Michael DeMello and I'm running for Peace Co. Mayor 2013. Listen, it's obvious there's a lot of Peace Co. drama here. I don't understand how you guys allow this to go on every single day. I mean, last week's meeting was a mess, a disaster. You know, that guy was right who was up here before. You guys did post one thing, and then you, you went and did something else. And then you tried to cover up your trails about it. And, you know, it's all on my Facebook. If you guys find me on Facebook or Twitter, Mikey D, Team Matungi, 2013. Listen. At that peace ceremony you had a couple weeks ago. How do you define mentally ill? Very important. India's, India's flag was never even shown. Did you even look at the replay? Have you seen it? You went through all the countries, and when you got to India, just kind of tossed it aside and mumbled under your breath. Oh, yeah, India. The Indian community is not too pleased, along with the voting community, that is in peace skill. They're not too thrilled with what happened there. For something as big as a peace poll as it was supposed to be, it's your event, and you totally just pretty much just pooped on all the Indians in, in, in town. Um, listen, there's a lot of problems in this town. I don't understand why you guys haven't found new ways to bring revenue in this town. I don't understand why you haven't addressed the racism that exists in this town. Because clearly there is. People Look how thrilled she is. Right. There's a lot of racism issues, and still no one's done anything about it. We have city jobs that are being cut left and right. We have a volunteer fire department. These guys are fighting fires with their lives. They don't get paid a dime. Our police force has it's gotten shrunk. There's no yelling out. Whoever did that needs to leave. We don't even have a paid EMT. I mean, the city hospital is the booming business in town, but, you know, everything else here is, seems lackluster. I mean, you guys don't see it when you walk through the neighborhoods. Do you guys ever walk through these neighborhoods, or do you just drive by? I don't seem to understand what you don't see here that everybody else, I mean, there's 25,000 people that live in this town, and you guys did a lackluster job of even having a voter registration drive here. Voter registration ended on Friday. I had to go out... And specifically, myself, I mean, do you know what this is? This is, this is the voter registration card. We have 25,000 citizens in this town, only 10,000 are registered voters, and you don't, 